Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to make my cute little owl here. And uh, she's uh, made on the loom. Now, we are using an extended loom. I'm using five pegs, okay? Columns of pegs, five of them. And I'm also using the extended peg holders. Um, as you can see, they're the base plates that are the extended ones that's, that fit up to six on them at a time. If you don't have those, that's okay. You can still use your mini base plates and all you would do is have three here and three here like that so that these are overlapping each other. Let me show you that. You would use the back of your hook here with the little tool that takes these off. So if you don't have these extended base plates, you can put one of the mini base plates here and one of the mini base plates here, and that will hold that in place. The large base plate you're going to have in the middle, and then again, you would need some mini base plates to hold here if you have them, okay? Now, and you will have them because you obviously have two two looms to do this so let's get started with this what we're going to do the configuration we're going to have columns one and two and four and five the same height column three is going to be just one little peg down from it okay so you have that little v the open part of the peg is going to face towards you where the arrow so the arrow is going to face towards you okay now the other thing I'm using two I'm doing it in two tone so with this one I used a dark purple and a light purple in for this particular one I'm going to use the rainbow loop loom dual layer Persian bands I thought they look rather nice I don't have the name of them but they are the dark green with the gold on the outside and then my two tone one is going to be it's sort of like a gold with a lighter green on the inside so I'm going to use those and I'm also going to use googly eyes um, and I have already threaded those. I have a video showing you how you can make this little slice at the back of a googly eye and thread your band through it. I will link that in the description of the video so that you know exactly how to do that. The other colour that we're going to use is orange just for the beak. Just a couple of little orange bands for the beak. And I probably will do a single loom version but I wanted to get the double the uh, multiple loom, the uh, extended loom version out first because I think she's really cute. All right, so how are we going to do this? There's a couple of things that we're going to do. We're going to double band. Double banding means you take two bands at the same time and you place them on the pegs together, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to start at the top here. And if your bands are a bit twisted, run your hook around the inside of them and they will un untwist okay so we're going to put two here and two here then we're going to move down a little bit further and put two here and two here that's quite important okay now coming down we're going to come down four pair on this side so oh and I'm sorry let me let me just tell you something we're going to do first let's take three bands Okay, and we're going to put these through because I'm using three to do sort of like the hair on the uh, top of her ears. Put three bands here and then put that band back. Okay, and that's going to be what we use to tie off. And let's do the same on the other side. These bands stick together a little bit, don't they? That's all right, we can make it work. They look pretty. Okay, so lift this side up and pop the three bands on and replace. So now we're going to come down and we're coming down four pair, so still double banding, so coming down four pair, so one pair, two pair, three pair, and as I said, if you can see them twisted, just move your hook around like that, and four pair, and let's do the same on the other side, one pair, two pair, three pair, and four pair, okay. We're then going to come down three pair on columns two and four, 
again make sure this is not twisted there we go so one pair either side two pair come back here you hmm three pair and three pair here there we go now down the center we're going to do three so one two and three now I'm going to change to the other color that I have I just think it looks nicer having it dual tone. Before we do the other colour though, while we still have room on our loom, we're going to build up the wings. I'm going to work in the middle, okay? So I'm doing one pair, two pair, three pair, and then I'm changing to the secondary colour and doing my fourth pair right here. And then coming down on the other side, I'm going to go at an angle. So we're, we're leaving this bit free because we, we're not continuing this down. Two pair. Three pair. Four pair. And again, using the second colour, go across from here. Now, you're going to use your primary colour and you're going to stretch it out, figure eight, and just join these two together so we're coming down at an angle with our little crossover band like this if it's too difficult on your fingers use your hook to stretch it okay that works quite well too like that and we need the other color the, the secondary color on the end as a as a little um, end cap so wrap your band twice around your hook and pop on as an end cap now we're going to do this twice get over there you let's do the first one and I'm going to use that second hook as my holding hook to hold my little wings on so I'm doing one and I'm looping up so let's loop these up going for the bottom two bands push past those crossover bands I know it can be a bit tricky. Make sure we got both of these. I think we only got one actually, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna move back with this pair because I think we lost one. Let's go back there and loop that second band up. There it is. Always check, okay? If in doubt, go back and make sure. Otherwise things will unravel and you'll get angry. And this one across to the side. Now what we're going to do, take a pair of your primary colour. So this is the darker green with the gold. And we're using these to hold the bands. We're not tying off at this stage. So poke your hook through, grab those two bands, if you can. <laughs> Pull back through all of those bands, reclaim on your hook. And you can use that to gently ease that little wing off the loom and this is going to be our first little wing okay now I'm going to put that on another holding hook because I'm going to use this hook to make my second little wing otherwise she's going to fly around in circles whoops let's do the second wing again starting in the middle I use it here because this is staggered the uh, the pegs are staggered and that makes it nice and easy for what I want to do. Hey, come back here. Three, and now I'm using my secondary colour to do that. And then back to my primary colour. Doing the sides here. Come on, what can you get? And 
again the secondary colour from here to here. We need to do an end cap, so single band, once and twice. Pop that on that little peg. And now we're going to do our crossover bands. And if you remember, we have to pull them with pulling it tight, pulling it out, stretching it, and then you're going to stretch it across these two sides of the pegs. Okay, so that's our first one. Funny how these stick together, isn't it? I don't use these very often. But the upside is they're a silicon band, so while they might be a little difficult to use, they're silicon, so they're not going to rot the same way that the rubber does. You'll find these will last longer. There we go. Now, get these other bands out of the way just for the minute. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm going to loop this up. Go down, find the top two. And loop them to their side. Sometimes you need to hold that little end cap in place so it doesn't fly off. And loop these up, push those crossover bands back with the back of your hook. You don't want those getting in the way. Here we go one across to the side here and let's push our hook through grab those two little bands pull this reclaim now we're going to lift this gently off our loom and that's our second little wing again I'm going to pinch here so it doesn't go anywhere and pop that on my holding hook now your holding hook can be a chopstick, a knitting needle, another hook, it can be anything really, toothpick, anything to just keep it safe and, and not unravelling. So put those to one side. Let's continue with our secondary colour for our second part of the little owl. So what we're going to do, first of all, one, two, three pair. So there's our first pair. Ah. Uh, second pair and our third pair do the same on this side your first column one two and three we have one two three and four down the center one two three and four and four down these two sides. Again, if it's twisted, try and unravel it. It looks better when it's not twisted, I think. Three and four. And on the other side, one, two, three, and four. Now what we're going to do is also do the um, bands that go on the bottom here. All right. So what we need to do is a pair from here to here. And a pair from here to here. And a pair from here to here. And a pair from here to here. We need an end cap on the end here. It's a single band. Wrap once and twice. Now poke that on the end. Now we're going to stretch single bands across these five pegs. And as we go, we're going to go up over that centre peg like that. Okay. And these are our crossover bands that keep everything joined together. When we get to this one we can change to our, our primary colour. Like that. Now we're going to put our eyes on this this peg here. Okay. To do that, as I said, I've, I've already joined mine. You're going to have one eye on a single band. It will be linked on how you do that. 
you're going to place it from column two to the center okay and then from the center to column four oopsie so this is where our eyes are going to go all right and we need to have a little beak so I'm going to take two bands and wrap once and twice around my hook and then another two bands and wrap once and twice and I'm going to slide onto a pair of orange bands one and let's see if I can get that straight and pretty two now we are going to put those on a pair of our primary colour that we're using, the main colour, like this, so that they sit like that. And then we're going to just put, and it's a pair still, you're going to put it on column two and on column four, like that. Okay, we still need to do crossover bands here though, though. So up and over on that peg and don't worry it will all sort of fit in you can get your eyeballs up if you want to <laughs> and then again here like so and if you want to you can just flip the eyeballs so that they are at the front of those crossover bands it's completely up to you it will all work out all right we need to put our wings on and they're going to go on these pegs here so opposite where you've put the eyes is the top one and then the bottom one. So take your holding hook. Now the wings, one side is going to be a little longer than the other. Okay, this side comes down. So that's the side that's going to be on the bottom. Okay, and then the other side is going to be on the top. So let's do that. So we've got two here. And let's get my other my hook through. There we are. Two, like that. Okie dokes. So the shorter side is up top. So if I do this one, you can see this is the slightly more curved. It's got a, an extra band. So again, this side is at the top and this side is at the bottom. So we can move this and put this one opposite the eyes and this one below it, like so. All right, so they're going to sit up like that all right so now i think we're ready to actually start looping up our little owl and i'm going to use i'm going to get these bands out of the way so i don't flick things at everybody out the way you okay dig down past your end cap and grab your first you want your first top um two bands and for me it's these two I'm going to hold that end cap in place so I'm looping those up and I'm going to do the same this side come this side and get the next two and they go to that side okay and then the, the two in the middle they get looped up here dig down grab the next two and loop up same here next two and loop up loop these ones to their respective pegs and now we're set to start looping and what you're going to notice is that when you loop these bands up they form like a little teardrop that's really important because it's your visual indicator that things have been looped if you still see it sort of like a little oval here they haven't been looped but if you see this little teardrop shape you know that they have. Push that crossover band back with the back of your hook. You want that out the way. And I'm doing this bottom colour first. Oops, I got the crossover band. I can feel it. So I'm going to backtrack see how that's done that so what I need to do I'm going to repair this 
This needs to go back on. So you don't need to worry when something bad like that happens. All you have to do is remember the order that you put things on. So for me, okay, when I laid these bands, these came on first, like that, and these went on top. So I'm gonna put those on top. I'm gonna put that crossover band back. Now this goes under here. So I'm gonna just pull it. And I'm, I'm sorry I'm not editing this out, but sometimes I think it's a good idea to see how you repair something without taking it all the way apart. So see, that's nice and repaired. And now you can just go forward. Like this, push that crossover band back. Let's not have that happen again. Now we're up to our primary colour. So I'm going to loop in this first one. These ones are tricky because you've got extra bands here, so you're going to dig all the way down to the bottom two. Okay, and the same for the next on this side. Got to get the bottom two bands only. There we are. And then you have to get the bottom two of these because they've got just the same amount of bands on as well. Bottom two. Push those bands for the beak out of the way. Now, for the beak, we're going to lift this up and pop it over the top here so that we can dig down, loop this up, and you have to be careful. There we, oops, one nearly tried to escape. Not on my watch. <laughs> and then flip the beak down again. Okay, like that. And then dig down and find the bottom two and loop up. These eyeballs will, as we take it off the loom, they'll pop to the front. So it's not too much of a problem. Don't worry about it too much. Dig down, loop up. Loop up. So we've looped these, we've looped these. Let's loop these ones. Bottom two. Move past those little wings. And loop all of these up to the very top. Okay, so we are all looped. Have a look. We're all looped except these ones, okay? Everything is looped in. What we're going to do at this point here, we're going to put a cross, uh, not a crossover band, an end cap. And the reason we're putting an end cap there is so that it doesn't pull this apart. So I'm going to take a single band, wrap it once and twice, and I'm going to pop that here on that centre peg, okay? And then as I dig down, I'm grabbing the two top and I will loop those to their corresponding side and I'm going to do the same on the other side over here. Loop down and grab those bottom two and loop them up. Dig down, bottom two and loop up. So we now have these all looped in. Now these little ones that we have hanging on the end here are what we're going to tie off with. So push your hook down and grab that end and there's three bands, okay? There we go. Reclaim the end, one over the other, and pull tight. That's tying that off, but it's also acting as the hair. So let's do the same on the other side. Dig down, grab three bands. Hope that your loom is not coming apart. Thank you very much. Okay, one over the other and pull nice and tight. Now, when I take my work off my looms, I use the back of a metal hook. I personally find that it helps release some of the pressure that is on the bands from these pegs. The last thing you want is your work to snap. Nothing worse than having a broken band as you're taking your creation off your loom. So let's do this and see how our little our little owl is looking. Now you don't have to use the eyes with um, 
eyelashes. I just happen to have those available. Yours can be a little boy owl, a little girl owl. It's completely up to you, really. <laughs> the way her eyes are, she looks a bit looks a bit angry. She'll get over it. As I said, we will do a single loom version, but I just wanted this one to be done first. So pull her into shape a bit. Let's move that loom out of the way stretch it out so she's in shape now one of the things that we're going to do with the eyes using your hook okay this side here on the outside of the eye you have two you have your your band that's going let me see if i can pull this up see how you have the loops here and here you're going to put your hook through the two loops closest to the eye lift up and put over the eye just so that it's pulling it to one side just a bit and you're going to do the same on the other side. Move that out the way. Here's the two little loops closest to the eye. Stretch them out, pop it over the eye, like so. And again, it's just gonna pull it to the next stitch. Fix the little beak, stretch it out a little bit so that it's in the right area. Now, stretch her hair out. With the um, I was going to say arms. <laughs> With the wings, you're going to anchor them using two of the secondary colour bands. Okay, so I've got two of the gold with the lighter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to at the bottom here. You've got your end cap. You've got one stitch either side, and then you have the second stitch. I'm going through. So I've got my end cap. I'm going through the next stitch next to the end cap. I'm going to split that in half. I want to see where that stitch is. There we go. See how it's there? So what I'm going to do, I've split that stitch. I can see where my new stitch is here. And I'm going to pop my hook through there. All right. Let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So my end cap is here. This is my first stitch after it. And then here's my second stitch after it. I'm just going through the bottom of that and then I'm going to go through the end cap of my wing okay and then with a single band I'm going to pull it through both of those reclaim and tie a slip knot nice quite tight I'm going to do the same on the other side there's my end cap here's my first stitch there's my second stitch so I'm going between the first and the second stitch to just go through that bottom part of the Sometimes it helps if you pull that first stitch aside. There's my second stitch, the bottom of it, right there. So I'm just going through the first stitch, getting a two, two little loops of the second stitch, pushing my hook through the end cap and pulling it through. And I'm going to tie a nice tight slip knot. And then I'm going to hide this tie off band in through the wings. So I'm going to just grab the end of it and pull it into the wings and then the other side I'm going to go back through again here so that it, I'm just sort of weaving it inside the wing so that you can't see it and we'll do the same on the other side. Push it through, grab that, pull it in and then through the other side. Hey, get out you through the center of the wing like that. And grab it again and pull back so that that's kind of hidden inside the wing. And there you basically have your little owl. All we have to do is fix her hair. And all you're going to do for that is take your scissors and snip the end of these bands, like so. And there she is. There's your little owl. I really hope you enjoyed making her. I thought she was really cute. I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed the design of that one. Um, 
you can you put them on your end of your pencil as well if you really want to you can slide your pencil through the owl wings and she can sit she can perch on the end of your pencil um, or she can just be a charm you can add like a little loop for your backpack attach her to your backpack or on your keychain but there she is all right hope you enjoy take care bye